beaten number four Michigan coming to challenge number three Penn State. Hello again, everybody, and welcome. This is one of those games that matters vitally in college football, especially since it is on the second Saturday in November. And these are elements that will be impacted by what happens here today. They include the Big Ten Conference Championship, the Rose Bowl, a possible invitation to an Alliance Bowl, the National Championship, and the Heisman Trophy. Now, if that doesn't whet your appetite, you're watching the wrong channel. Now we're waiting for the Penn State Nittany Lions to make their entry before the home folks, a sellout crowd at Beaver Stadium. So we've got all of the things in place as Lloyd Carr brings his ball club to town with a record of 25 and 8 as the head coach there in his third year. And of course, Joe Paterno has been here forever. And uh, so we're ready to play football at Beaver Stadium, State College, Pennsylvania. The ball is in the air by Travis Forney. And it is Anthony Thomas, the freshman running back for Michigan, popping out of the crowd and going all the way out to the 35-yard line. Greasy hands the ball inside. And a good effort by Chris Howard, number eight. He is a 216-pounder from River Ridge, Louisiana, and he picks up a first down on his first carry. Still drizzling away as we come to the ball game. The temperature is in the 40s, and here's the play over the left side again for Chris Howard. And Howard's going to pick up eight yards on that carry before David Mack steps in. Clarence Williams is not here. He did not make the trip. He has a hamstring pull, and it, it's Thomas with the ball. Thomas finds room over the left side, and he's in there for another Michigan first down as he reaches the Penn State 41-yard line. Now he's missed the last two ball games. And it's second down, 11. Gracie back to throw. Brian puts it down the middle. The pass is caught by Jeremy Tooman, his tight end. And so it's third and three for the Wolverines. They're throwing for it, Greasy hit, but gets the ball off. Thrown hard, caught at the 20, and caught for a first down again by Jeremy Truman. And Brian threw a bullet, but Greg Baker is in for a field goal try. Baker, who is 12 out of 16, and this will be a 29-yarder. Brian Greasy will hold it and put it down just inside the 20. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So at 8 minutes and 52 seconds, Penn State survives the touchdown but yields the field goal and the Wolverines take the lead. But the big redhead brings him up now to the line of scrimmage and here's your first play. Pressure coming, sacked. It is Glenn Steele, number 81, who fought his way through the traffic. A slow, developing play-action thing that was blown apart by the rush of Glenn Steele. Steele, who has really been playing well. This ball is handed off, going to the left side and up to about the 20-yard line for Curtis Enos. Tied in with the man in motion. And McQuarrie looking to pass. Pressure coming, got him again. This time, it is Joaquin Fazell. And the Nittany Lions now will have to punt from deep in their own territory. And Michigan, if they handle the ball, should get good field position. Well, we've got the stadium. Michigan leading 3 to nothing. Second possession, starting at their own 45-yard line. Chris Howard, the deep back. Play action. Greasy throws. Man wide open. Pass caught by Jeremy Truman, the tight end. And it'll go over to the Penn State side of the field at about the 37-yard line. Chris Howard, five carries, 24 yards. Greasy back to throw. Looking around, takes off. Had a hole over the right side. Got away from one. Gets his first down as he's knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line by David Macklin. Russell Shaw is the man in motion. This is Howard back in traffic. Good cut by Howard. And he is taken down at the 16-yard line. Just in the freshman, Anthony Thomas comes in as the deep back, replacing Chris Howard, who may still be a little bit tender. Thomas gets the ball. Going outside. Got good speed. Headed the corner. Touchdown, Michigan. The big block came from Steve Hutchinson, one of those red shirt freshmen on the left side of the line. Look at the touchdown, Keith. The guard right here, that's Hutchinson, is going to get a nice block. And uh, Shea, the tight end, is also going to get a nice block. Watch as both those guys pull. Right there, one block and another block, or at least a, a half a block on Macklin, allows Thomas for the score. 
Shea and gets through. It's tough to bring that guy down, even though yeah, he's a he's a big kid, isn't he? McQuarrie stands up, throws quickly. Not much there for Chaffee Fields. As Fields got the ball, he was decked immediately by Andre Weathers, number 30. Five man front for the Wolverine defense on this play. McCreary gets his pass off and is completed to Bob Stevenson. And Stevenson dealt it out of bounds with a first down. He is in it. Watch this collision. Wow. Woo. That's powerful. That is Penn State's first first down, and they may have paid a big price. I'm going to enjoy the game a little easier than you might up there in that booth calling the game. The query back to throw it. Slips a little bit. Now gets the pass away. Look out for this one. It's Matt Woodson. Jura Vicious going down under it is begging for a little help here, but he doesn't get it, and the pass is incomplete. That time against Woodson, he was not able to shield Woodson with that big body. Still, he almost came down with it, but he's got that big body. He does a great job of shielding the other guy away. First down for Michigan from their own 20-yard line. Greasy, play action, rolls out, pulls it down. Get some help from Shea, the tight end. Cuts it back onto the field. Still going, still going, and finally brought down by Gino Prater. And the last time Brian Greasy ran that far, his dad was chasing him with a stick. With the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I gave that kid something right here. I used to run this way in the old days. That he's going to run it. They all think he's going to throw it. They're laying back. They can't believe that he ran it. Ball is on the 37 yard line. We're at second down and seven now. Greasy back to throw. Down the middle, wide open. It's Woodson. Touchdown, Michigan. Charles Woodson in in the slot. Broke free in the middle. There was nobody around him. Broken coverage by Penn State. 37 yard touchdown. 39. Here's Woodson here. He's going to go straight down. Fox is the man that misses the jam on him. Fox is going to try and get a jam. Woodson just gets around him and goes straight up the field. Throws the ball over Collins, number six. Here he is right here going straight down the middle of the field. Go ahead. Throws it over Collins right down the middle of the field. A missed assignment. Somebody needed to be in the middle of the field either. Some people thought might have some success against the Michigan secondary. McCreary back. Gets away from the pressure and lets it go down for Chaffee Fields. And it is incomplete. He was running right at Woodson. And uh, it'll be fourth down for Penn State. To keep. He can light your fire. He's fine. He really is. This is Howard, and Chris Howard getting some help downfield, and it's Brandon Short who reached out and got him and saved a touchdown. It's second down and five for Michigan. Here's a little bit of a delay. Goes to Thomas, and Thomas finds his way through the traffic to the 30, and that should be a first down. Greasy back throws, and it is caught. And it is good to about the 20 to Russell Shaw. So joins Howard in the backfield now. Different kind of a formation. Greasy throws. And it is touchdown. Jeremy Tulin. So the big tight end reels it in at the goal line and tumbles down in Hallelujah Land. Stables in a blitz. These two linebackers are going to come. Tuman is here. He's going to come. He's matched up on a small defensive back. That's Macklin. Macklin is 5'9". Watch Tubin get into the end zone. Now he just shields him. He's covered, but he's 6'5 against the defensive back. He's 5'9". Greasy sees it. The offensive line gives him time to throw. The query is sacked. Number 55, Deontay Jones. Coming right up that's what we're going to be at halftime. Uh, rather shocking yeah, yeah, score. Yeah, Michigan 24 yeah. and Penn State nothing. And so off they go to the clubhouse to consider their circumstances in Happy Valley. Now John Sonner. 